this is Joe Lines. Uh, this video here is going to be a quick example of how you can write some code to allow you to write code faster. Uh, a lot of times, um, so I work in email marketing and we have um, items that we need to put into a list um, and probably we sh there's probably going to be duplicates in them and I need to like comma delete them for my query and so I need to have a quote comma quote and so I could come up here and I could start you know going like this one at a time right which would obviously take me quite a while what I did for a while was a uh, I would put it into Excel and put it there or Word and do a search replace um, and then what I realized <coughs> was, hey, I'm doing the same thing all the time, right? So why don't I write a little program to go and, and actually do the comma, or sorry, quote, comma, quote, and then break the line, take the next line and pull it up here. Uh, but before I actually even do that, let's um, dedupe it, right? Uppercase it, because I always want to have uppercase. So there's a lot of processes I, I normally go through that I do that I said, you know what, if I put this in a program, I can reuse it over and over and over. And, and here also, I have over a thousand items, right? And so for my query, I can have up to 999, um, and it then I need to put it into another in list. And so I'm... Uh, I'm actually going to launch, let me launch my, my script launcher, which is where I have the code that will, uh, what I want to use here. So I believe, yeah, that's running now. And what I can do is highlight everything, and then just, this is my script launcher, and I can say, okay, my SQL help stuff. And right now, I am going to, let's just say I wanted to sort, uppercase, dedupe, and count, right? So I hit that, and now that tells me there were 1,777 items in total. It has alphabetized it. It has deduped them. Um, and so that's the first part of which now I can do a lot of different things with this list. Um, one thing, actually, and I can see it here, is... Uh, well, let me see. Let me go up here a little. So here, here see where this SNVU213 and then SNVU213A? I know for our naming conventions that this A is just a different version of this. And for my query, I'm going to tell it to look at the first seven characters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and only look at the first seven, which allows me to, to not worry about the version of the literature document I'm doing. So I have a slightly different one here. I can say SQL help. And this is my um, let's trunk and dedupe. So it actually does a lot of the same thing here. I think it actually uppercases it. I just don't have that on my name. But it'll do, it'll truncate it at seven characters and then run the dedupe, which will get rid of like that example. Um, and let's see, I think it gives me the count. Oh, it didn't. But notice now, this is how many rows there are, right? Now there's 1,444, whereas before I think we had around 1,700, right? So now I have seven um, characters all broken out in different lines. And let's say now I need to break this into I need to break it into the first group I can have up to nine hundred and ninety nine items with it being in this format where I can where it would be like this, right? I can have that up to nine hundred and ninety nine of them, and then I need to create a second group. But of course, um, figuring out where that is can be really hard with doing a regular search replace. So what I've done is I've just built a program that, that looks for that. So I can say, okay, now I'm gonna um, in list, this is my in list SQL wrapper, and it, I gave a little reminder here for me, so it's quote, comma, quote. And I can click that, and what that does is it just did it, it broke it all out, and what you'll see here is it actually inserted a line break, so there's 999, if I probably went through and did a count on my commas, um, I don't, uh, it doesn't matter, but I know it does 999, because I know I've used this plenty of times. Um, and then I do it here again, right, it put the le what's left over, and if there was 4,000 items, it would have broken them into equal groups. Um, so this is really quick, I can go put this stuff into my query. Let's say also I just hit undo. Let's say instead of doing that, that I was going to put it into a matching pattern. Let's say I wasn't going to just grab the first seven characters, but I wanted to say, oh, you know what, I want to say it begins with these first seven, and then I use the like command and use a percentage on the end here. So what I can do is I can say SQL help. Um, I, I have pre-built this to go for our web tracking table, and I click that. Now that takes, it puts the, um, the qualifier to first say uppercase our web tracking field, the entity ID field, um, tell it to look for like, 
the literature document, and then a percent sign, meaning uh, you know it begins with these first seven characters and then anything after, or you know and it does the next one and the next one, and the next one. This one, this obviously is a inefficient way for us to run our query. So, which is why for us, I look at the first seven. I can do an in list. It's going to execute much quicker than this would. Uh, but I just want to give you guys an idea that hey, depending if you're doing the same thing over and over, right? You can write a program that will automatically take care of it. And let me just real quickly here. I'm going to bring up, this is this is both, it's my script launcher, and at the bottom here are some of the little subroutines that, um, so here's my inline wrapper, and, and I basically was telling it um, to, to store the clipboard, um, and then blank it, um, create, blank all the new variables, and then um, it sends control C, this is auto hotkey, by the way, so it sends control C, copy whatever text you've highlighted to the clipboard, and this is just waiting for that to populate, and then it goes through and it says parse the clipboard with the um, end of, sorry, that's a beginning line and end of line, and it loops through that, and somewhere in here, I forget, I haven't actually looked at the code, here's where it's creating groups in 999, but it actually counts how many times it does it, and then breaks it, so down here is where, when it reaches 998, then it, it the 999th one, I think as well, will insert the, the line break um, around that. Um, and then here at the very end, somewhere in here, we tell the clipboard to equal our new thing that we've just created, and then send, and then auto hotkey, the caret thing here is the control, so send control V, um, and put it back, and then this is actually just restoring, so that whole process here, in the very beginning, what was on the clipboard, I store it, and then after I do all of our cool stuff here, I just restore the clipboard to the original content, so my clipboard actually still has what I had before, so I don't lose, if there was something I wanted to use, I still have it. Um, and and all of that, right, is done in, in what, maybe 20 lines of code. Um, and it's very easy, and it's probably I'm not a I'm I'm not a programmer. This isn't I'm sure efficient code, but it, it works great. The next one, the sort, dedupe, and count. Um, Auto hotkey has a thing in here somewhere, so the be beginning parts will all be basically the same. Um, but then I just tell it to to sort the values that we created from here. Um, I think the U is to unique them, and then to sort them in a certain order. Um, but it's it's super easy, right? And then we send it back, and here's where I'm displaying how many there were, um, in in the the response after you know you've you've copied it, deduped it, and then you send it back. But I wanted to say like, okay, now how many rows do I actually have? Just just because it's easy to do. Uh, here's my trunk lit dedupe. So in here, I say basically, our literature at the beginning of the row it um, has. This means look for um, a string character. So look for the first seven string characters in a row, and then basically take whatever is after that, and you end up stripping it out. And this, the U here, as I'm saying, in this same process, while you return that, uppercase the letters, so it, this actually does have the uppercase. Um, and then I dedupe it, and then send it back out. Um, and then a, a few of these other ones are where I, I've written a little bit of subroutines where it'll go through and append um, the different field information and table information uh, with the the, rep, uh, the rapid stuff where I'm going to do the in link pattern, but I, I don't want to get into that. But you can see how amazing, how much time it can save you, right, to just be able to, and I also have it set up where I can hit control comma, and it'll take whatever list I have. So it the control comma sends, it triggers the same um, program that you just saw that will run this, break it into different lists. Um, but, I mean, this, on a daily basis, saves me hours upon hours of tedious, mundane, you know, basically sucky work. Uh, thank you.